not my best if I'm being honest. Good morning. So today I thought I would do just a little something different than what I usually do, which is just sit in front of my desk and, and talk to my phone. I've got my yogurt, I've got my coffee that I made way too strong. I am cold. Okay, I have a plan today. I don't have anything super pressing until much later today. So I'm going to finally organize, declutter, clean, detail my car. I also plan on going through a car wash and it's actually a lot of fun and you're gonna get to go along with me. Okay, I think I've stared at my neighbor's bushes for long enough. I'm going to go ahead and get started for the day. Now, we are backing up, you know. Having a backup camera has absolutely changed my life. I, uh, I parallel park now. Yeah, I'm one of those people. That's a cute little bird on a rock. Aw, he flew away. The plan for today is I want to get my car washed. I might just vacuum my car at the house because I don't think I'm comfortable enough filming in super public yet. So we'll see how I feel when I get there. Okay, we are about to fun wow i might vacuum a little bit because it feels like a waste of money to you know not Okay, phase one complete. Time to go.
have my car cleaned and organized and looking good, feeling good, I want to talk about something that I think is very important. And that is the concept of systems. Having my car cleaned, organized, detailed is great. It feels great. It looks great. But if I continue on with the same habits that I have been, like eating in my car, throwing my trash in the floor, it's gonna start looking pretty gross again soon. <laughs> and what's the point of that? What was the point of all the effort I just went through? That doesn't make any sense. If you're wanting to have a more long-term change and create basically a new identity for yourself, then that takes creating new habits and putting systems into place such that you have no choice but to adopt these habits. Setting up your environment is a really great shortcut to creating new habits. Design your environment in such a way where it is as easy as possible to maintain the cleanliness that you just created when you were decluttering or, or cleaning. In my case, I'm going to start implementing this little hook thing. My roommate got me this for a stocking stuff for last Christmas and I'm just now pulling it out and, and I'm gonna try it out. Basically, it just hooks behind one of the, the heads, headrests on one of the seats and so you can put like a little plastic bag on it and I'm just gonna use that for my trash from now on. So instead of throwing all my trash in the floorboard of my car, I'm gonna use this instead. We're gonna see how that goes. I, I think it'll help a lot. So hopefully all this work that I put into cleaning and organizing my car, I can upkeep it and maintain it for now, from now on. Each time I declutter something, I try to set up some kind of system that will make it easier for me to maintain the cleanliness and all the work that I went through to clean it in the first place. Okay, so this little doodad goes in the back, just like that. You put a bag. There is my shiny little silver, all uh, clean and happy. She's feel she's feeling much better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and film a little bit of the finished product to show you. Okay, so I think that's gonna be all for today. Uh, I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I have several other decluttering and organizational videos that you may be interested in. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So we are driving along and just vibing, just, just feeling it out. Oh, look at that, there's a Tesla behind me. Never leave the house without your water bottle. Especially if your water bottle has baby Yoda on it. <laughs>